Hey guys, just wanted to talk you through a little bit about our art and craft supplies and how the girls have always had free access to those materials um, before I show you through the art cupboard. A lot of you have um, said that the art cupboard being that neat is not achievable um, in your family or doesn't look like that. And I'd just like to stress how often that I do tidy that. Um, mess and clutter really does add to my stress and anxiety. And so we quite often, like our whole house is usually quite spotless. Um, it just makes my mind feel clear and I hope that the girls feel like that as well. They know where everything goes away because everything has a place and they do help pack away most of the time, but I'm not going to say 100% of the time because honestly, they're children. We all have off days. The way that I handle that is just for me to continue packing away um, and showing an example. So we'll always pack away before we move on to like playing outside or eating our lunch and it will always look um the way that it should before we move on. Um, so at the moment they're three and a half and uh, 22 months. Um, so the first instance that I can think that Big Sis had free access to the art and craft supplies was when Dion actually um, built an easel um, that was sort of at low height um, with little cups down the bottom and she would pick up the um, pencils out the bottom and just draw lines down the paper. Um, that stayed in the playroom up until we got a bigger easel um, when she was about two because she was getting too tall for it. Um, and then now we have smaller easels that um, are in the cupboard that I'll show you through later. Um, but yeah, that's the first instance that I can think of that was um, free access. And since then, no matter where our playroom has been, I've always made sure that they have had access to it. Um, because I think if you put it in a cupboard and you have to they have to ask you to get it out. It's kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing, or they might ask you for it and you've said no because you were busy cooking dinner or something. Um, and then since they've had to ask you for it multiple times um, and you've said no, they're gonna slowly stop asking. So if they have had the free access to it, they can decide when they wanna do it. Um, I did used to put things in glass jars, so like the scissors and the pens, I used to put in glass jars um, so that they were protected from Little Miss, but Big Sis could still see them to ask me for them. Um, and we have had a couple of instances of drawing one on the couch and one on the wall. Together we've cleaned those off um, and just talked about how we put the pens on the paper. Um, and then just moved on with it. We don't want it to be a negative experience because honestly, the amount of crafting that we do is crazy. Some days we don't even get toys off of the shelf. That's all they do. Um, so I'll give you a little look through the art cupboard, but if you get to the end of the video and you've still got any questions, just let me know. So this here is our play space, which is in our lounge room. Um, so over here in this cabinet under the mirror, is where I keep lots of puzzles and board games um, and things like letters that stay out all the time. They sit at this little table over here um, to do their crafting and this is our art cupboard which I'll give you a little look through now. Inside of the art cupboard here all of the wooden inserts are from Kmart and my labels are from Miss Madame Label. I'll tag just on this post as well um, and all of the most of the art and craft supplies are from our stores much all of them probably except for um this kmart hack here so this is a clipboard and a kmart chalkboard and i've just got glue gunned um the clipboard onto the front and we use those as little easels up on our table they do tip um if too much pressure is put on them but big sis is fine little miss just isn't as gentle um these are our boards that we use um to do play-doh so when the girls um get their play-doh out from the top they'll grab a board as well as their tools in the bottom so in there's just stamps rollers hammers um, nails everything that they'd need um, wooden holders for our pencils um, glue and some scissors in there this one at the back here is just a manual paper shredder so you put that handle on the side paper in um, turn the handle kids love it um, this is um, crowns, sharpener, these ones down here are craft punches, so if you're not familiar with those, you just slide the paper in, push it out, um, and then it cuts it, and that's all in there for them to do um, collage with when they next want to. We use all recycled paper um, just because the girls do so much artwork. 
Um, it's all just from mum's work. Um, those ones are our pens, stamps, dot markers, coloured paper um, in there. Take these out and give you a quick little look behind here as well. So these jars is what I use um, if I do need to take something away. For instance, um, when Little Miss was little, um, littler, I used to put the pens in this glass jar so they had to ask me for it. Um, and I did do the same with scissors as well, but now I trust her with those. In the back there is just our poster paints and I just keep the three um, primary colors because we can obviously mix up other colors that we need, but more so inside, we just use our watercolor paint Paints. So these are those palettes there. Um, those are the cups that we put water in. And just at the back is our eco color paints, which is like a powder, um, which turns into these watercolors here. I just screw the lids on those really quite tight. Um, so the girls just have to ask me if they want those. Um, these are just our paint brushes in there and some clips if we want to put like a whole big piece of paper over our table. Um, so this whole cupboard, there is a picture on um, the post on my feed as well if you want to hit save on that post. As everything's labelled, um, it's just a lot easier to see what's in everything.